a logo was designed, calibration.
Тест, раз, два. Hey, hey, I'm pretty good, hello. Pretty good, pretty good. Just doing some casual satisfactory. Yeah, yeah, yes I do, yes I do. Otherwise I would be fired from my job. <laughs> so yeah, welcome to the stream. I hope everything is okay with the microphone. I'm actually from Poland. I live here for all of my life. But I'm um I'm Polish by the way, so it's not like I'm from uh, another country. I'm actually Polish, I can speak Polish as well. Majority of my viewers actually on Twitch, uh, they uh, watch my channel in Polish. Can you say something in my language? Pozdrawiam bardzo serdecznie, Sently. So it's like, um, how to translate it exactly? Uh, something like... Say hi from Andy. <laughs> Say hi from Quantum. Let me just uh, switch one thing. Actually, sorry. Greetings from uh, from Quantum. Well, yeah, that's the better translation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what's funny is that um, certain words are so similar between Russian and Polish. It's uh, I always wondered how it got mixed up. <laughs> oh, my stream preview is so broken. Okay, there we go. 
No, it's just like I don't uh, I don't mean anything bad about both languages, Polish and Russian, but I kind of wonder, like we don't know really the origin of our language. It's like we can. Uh, <laughs> I can kind of understand what you say. <laughs> kind of. Pravda, pravda. <laughs> okay. My goal for today is to do a freaking plastic. And I think the first track came with plastic here. There we go. It's nice and full. That's what we want, actually. So let's start to do the plastic uh, production. Well, let me just fix that real first. Actually, what's funny is uh, like one of my all-time favorite games, besides The Witcher, because for Witcher it's absolutely nuts for me. In case how good this game is. But I would say one of the best games that I've played ever, it's uh, the Stalker series. <laughs> I can I can understand that. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, it's... Uh... You know, it's something that I have to use every day. And uh, I actually had a very, very good uh, teacher, like a, like a private teacher that taught me English. Why the mouse? It's so weird. Ah, of course, mouse without borders. And I'm missing metal plates. Yeah, I absolutely love this game as well. I, I'm i just a small streamer, so like uh, I've been streaming Satisfactory just casually, really. But uh, that's my second factory after they updated the game with all of the new features. Uh, basically, of course, you know, probably that everything got broken. So uh, I decided just to recreate a new factory, and this is like a second version, but uh, I've never streamed that game for a pretty long time, let's say. But yeah, the game is absolutely brilliant. Oh, metal plate, I forgot, of course. Uh, let me just move it out of the way so my plastic truck can actually move freely okay great yeah I mean I, I was very surprised by satisfactory even though it's a uh, in an early access state I would say um, they did a pretty damn good job of making it playable. Like, it feels like a full release, to be honest, not like a beta game. Even the performance, especially right now after the patch, it's on point, really. Of course, could be always a tiny bit better, but they have a very, like, I'm not a programmer, I'm... Kind of, my specialty is in a different um, field of IT, like mainly networking and stuff. But um, yeah, I can see. I know a little bit about programming languages and how games are designed, and I can see how many different challenges they have with uh, that game to keep the frame rate actually running cool. That average. That. <laughs> Yeah, 
Exactly. <laughs> uh, I need those damn metal plates. Oh, nice. Uh, that's... Um, to be a doctor, it's actually... I'm always amazed by by people who, who want to do this stuff, because... Uh, like, uh, there are jobs... How to say it? There are jobs uh, for which I have loads of respect. Like being a doctor, being a pilot, because uh, even though I'm not uh, doing those jobs, let's say, I can see how much uh, focus and knowledge you have to have. Like, um, it's almost like, uh, I don't know, disarming a bomb if you have a nail pe person and you uh, have them, for example, they, they are doing an operation on a patient. It's just uh, amazing how... How calm you have to ha you have to be um, and that sort of stuff. How much knowledge do you have to have about uh, human bodies? And it's just amazing, really. Or like being a Bob Bang or Airbus pilot. Yeah, you also have to have very big knowledge about how the plane works and how to work with that machine safely. Like, uh, compared to, like, my job, it's not probably stressful compared to doctors or pilots. But everybody has a different state of mind, so I guess it's always a little bit different. But yeah, that's, uh, that's a nice direction. Okay, so the challenge is that I have to move this plastic... Somewhere, and I have no idea where to where to put the belt. The plastic production will happen somewhere right there. I will need it for production of computers and for production of printed circuit boards. I have no idea where to put the input, to be completely honest. Hmm. I have a big truck here, but it goes from the end of the factory to the pretty much of the beginning of the factory. But uh, you know what? I think that the challenge will be now to set up uh, those machines and then we can see where to put the plastic belt. Basically what I have to do. So let's go inside, let's go to the top, and let's see what we need for that uh, plastic production. That's actually funny right now, it's uh, in my current job, I also have a... ...mate from, from Russia. He's very cool. Okay. Actually, I have a mix of different people. Portuguese people. I'm the only Polish guy in my team right now, which is funny. <laughs> okay. So, here is my reference. So, basically, we'll need seven and a half parts per minute. Mm, I can, I can try. Mogę, mogę spróbować. To jest generalnie głos, którego używam na co dzień. Generalnie produkcja plastiku. A zaraz właśnie, musimy się upewnić, że będziemy mieli 15 sztuk 15 sztuk Boże, jak to się nazywa? Copper sheet. Arkuszy z miedzi chyba. Yeah, so that's basically... Uh, usually looks on my stream. 
Yeah, there are lots of uh, similar words actually from from Russian to Polish, which I always find very interesting. Or even like um, even like a Czech language, like because my parents used to watch loads of um, Czech. Um, Check things. Um, oh, check the, the Jesus Christ! I cannot speak. <laughs> I cannot think today. It's too late. Like those movie for kids. That's what I wanted to say. My parents used to watch loads of those uh, kids movies uh, in Czech language because they were back in the day pretty popular in Poland, and they can understand pretty much everything from Czech language. Maybe they don't speak the language, but they can understand uh, a lot. And I'm the only one who's like, I, I, I don't get it. I just get half of what they say. And that's it, pretty much. Where is my copper dingy dong production? I thought it's uh, somewhere right here. Oh, it's on a uh, second. Ah, okay, it's not on that level. Okay, let's go down a little bit. And the copper ship production was somewhere right here. Yes, exactly. But I will need to produce more than that. Because this can do 10 per minute. And this is mostly my material for pipes. So. Oh no, that's the wrong pipe. Okay. So, what I will need is probably I will have to extend my copper production. Because I will have enough plastics, I think, to cover it up. So, how many machines do we need? Uh, it produces seven and a half, and we need to have 25. What, country, what countries have I visited? Oh, actually... I visited loads of countries. So far, I'm just like launching the calculator on my phone. So far, the first country that I visited uh, when I was a kid actually was um, it was uh, Italy. I was in Rome. Uh, then I went to Paris, and I've been to Paris twice in France. I've been to Belgium, uh, where I've been to Holland. Then I also visited um, Italy one more time uh, with my girlfriend, but we just uh, made an interesting trip around Italy, you might say, from um, Venice to Neapol to Neapoli, sorry, to one city that I cannot probably pronounce in English. I will have to check uh, its name. I also visited like Positano in uh, Italy, which is a very nice island, which I would recommend to, to absolutely everybody. Uh, and what else? What else? I was supposed to go to Scotland, actually, this year, but because all of all of that uh, virus situation, of course, I had to cancel the plans. I've been to, to many, many countries already, mostly European. There we have a calculator, okay. So, 25 per minute, 25 slash 7 and a half messenger. Please go away. So, we'll need four. Four of those machines, okay. Four of those machines. So, yeah, it's actually, I've been traveling a lot whenever I can. Really, really love traveling. Oh, actually, I'm doing it the other way around. I should probably build 
Russia. Russia would be Russia in Polish. Russia. Um, okay, printed and... Okay, so 15 per minute. And I need four of those machines, so it'll be 30. So we need 60. Production of copper sheet. Uh, Poland in Polish is Polska. It's basically Polska. Each one of those machines is gonna produce uh, 10 per minute. Okay, so I need six of those. Jesus. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Great. Great success indeed. Great, okay. Now the power goes from here to here, let's say. Let's set the uh, copper copper sheet here. Shame that I can't select multiple machines like that manually. Or like with a special tool to select the same recipe. Okay, I just had to respond uh, to a telephone. Uh, okay, so what we need is to... Here we have a copper mine somewhere, from what I believe. So here we'll need to ingest copper. And I will probably put uh, this wall. And then all of the ingredients will come through here to all of those machines. Okay. Okay. No. Twenty, forty, and sixty, so it will be mark to belt. One hundred and twenty per minute. Great. Okay, so let's connect uh, all of that. There we go. And all of those can have a Mark 1 belt.
Okay, copper, copper, copper. And even more copper. Two hundred and forty per minute. That should be sufficient. Judging by the rate. Of, uh, of how it works. Okay.
No, siema. Ejka. To na co tam masz ochotę? Chętnie. Tarkow? Możemy i Tarkowa. No dobra, da ja sobie tylko tutaj zapiszę. Poszedłbym sobie po piwo i do łazienki. No jak chcę dłuższą gaś wkłada, to też może być koda. Jest online, zaraz się zapytam. To już o 22 chyba nockę zaczyna. Dobra, to ja zaraz wrócę. Idę do łazienki po piwko. Ja chyba nie będzie gra. Mąska. Dobra, tarko. No dobra. Tak, jak tam duszą gra, czy nie gra? Nie, nie, raczej chyba nie. Pisał mi, że... Chyba nie. Pytałem się go, czy Robonocka, on wkleił mena you get used to it, więc... <laughs> A ja jeszcze nocek nie mam. Panty wróciły jakieś. Znowu nie mam ich gdzie wrzucić. Prapor. Kałak wrócił. Girasa. Pyk. Pyk. Kastomsy? Hmm. Yy, Dobra. Poczekaj, poczekaj, bo ja dopiero Tarkowa odpalam, bo ja streamuję i przestawiłem tytuły. Aha. Uh -huh. Już. Odpalam. Mogą być i Kastomsy. Sprzedałem jakieś parę pierdółek, których nie potrzebowałem. Mam jakąkolwiek kasę. A pancerz mi wrócił już za pmc -kiem. Don't 
touch pick pick hmm No i dobra. Pala się. Niech ja tylko załaduję coś w ogóle. Mhm. Chyba mam poustawione, tylko nie mam naboi w magazynkach. No ja też muszę dobić. No, coś jeszcze mi wróciło? Prapor? Nie. Kradli wszystko. Słodzieje. <laughs> Zachładny. Dobra. A, to ja tego AKM -a mam. No dobra. Nie jest moja amunicja PS. Taki burdel, że nie wiem gdzie co mam po prostu. Skrzynka z amunicją potrzebna na ASAPie. Ha, ha. Z któregoś questa dostajesz chyba dwie. Normalnie one nie są ten. Chyba trudno do zdobycia, bo tam potrzebny ten gunpowder jest, żeby wymienić u mechanika. Tak, tak, tylko nie mogę właśnie znaleźć gunpowdera tego, wiesz, no. zielonego ostatnio. W tym jest cały ból. Mhm. Ram? Jeszcze dwa magazynki. Tutaj, tutaj. 5.45 poproszę. Z tych BT mi się amunicji naroiło. Odłożenia po rezerwie. Ostatnio wlazłem z kawem i znalazłem 7 paczek po 120 na boję. What? Dobra. Jest spoko. Dobra, to wychodzę. Będzie z czego strzelać. O, jest. Ja mam CPS. Muszę zrobić porządki, bo naprawdę się przestaje orientować, co mam gdzie. Mhm. Ja chyba będę musiał dokupić sobie amunicji, bo nie mam. Tak, dobra. Prapor! Dawaj mnie tego shitu. Pesy na aukcji chyba są taniej niż u prapora. Ale nie dużo, widzę, że wykupują ludzie aktywnie. Zresztą tania ta amunicja jest. Ale jest zawodna ostatnio, coś mi. Nie idzie strzelanie z tego 762, coś nie wiem. No ja biorę tylko dlatego, bo mam, no i tyle. Czyli no to ma nadal słaby ten. Słabe parametry przebijalności. A dobra, apteczkę miałem zabrać, apteczkę miałem zabrać. Tam chyba piątki i szóstkę, piątkę i szóstkę chyba przebija z wielkim bólem tyłka. I, I w tym momencie jesteś właściwie trupem, jak nie zdążysz ładować w typa całego magazynku. Albo nie zawalić puka trzata. Jeszcze czegoś ze splint... A, bandaż mi brakuje, dobra. No dobra, to chyba powinno być tyle. Tylko tyle, że ja nie mam słuchawek, bo mam hełm, który po prostu chcę zużyć. Ten A. sfera i nie daje mi słuchawek włożyć. Mhm. Mm chcę go zużyć, dobra. No to kastałam synom.
też mi te, te sfery wracały i wracały. W końcu mi tak wracał, że cały zniszczony wróci i sprzedałem go do tego, do fensa w końcu później. Customsy. Za, e, ty wysłałeś zapro? Czy jeszcze mm-hmm. nie? Tak, wysłałem, wysłałem, zaraz powinien się otrzymać. Spoko, spoko, bo widzicie na liście i zastanawiałem się, czy... Jak zapro... gra się zastanowi, czy ci wysłać to... <laughs> no właśnie się chyba aktualnie zastanawia. Jestem na niebieskim, zaraz powinieneś na... No. 